Beyonce's highly anticipated album, Cowboy Carter, is finally here. Her announcement during the Super Bowl sent the Bayhive into a frenzy with speculation that her new album would be entirely country. But as Queen Bay stated herself, quote, this ain't a country album. This is a Beyonce album. From country to pop to funk, Beyonce spent the past five years creating a masterpiece that doesn't stick to just one music genre. Cow Cowboy Carter also pays homage to the greats like Dolly Parton with a remake of Jolene and a cover of the Beatles song, Blackbird. Listen. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm warning you, don't come for my man. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Joining me now, Danielle Smith, former editor of Billboard and editor-in-chief of Vibe and author of Shine Bright, a very personal history of black women in pop. And there was no one I was going to talk to about this album but you, Danielle, so I'm glad you were free. So Dolly Parton has praised Beyonce's remake of her song, Jolene. What did you think of Beyonce's take on that country classic? What did I, th I, I think the thing is what I think about the entire thing as an album. And I just wanted to say, Jonathan, I have four things that I think Go are ahead. important to say. One is this album, it is an intergenerational genre shattering hoedown. It's a road trip. It's a talent show. And it's an American extravaganza. And it makes a couple of things clear, really four things. One that race-based musical genres, country, R&B, pop, et cetera, these are artificial categories. Also, mm. this whole thing of millennial, boomer, Gen X, way more porous and way more cooperational than we're made to believe. But importantly to me, what Beyonce is saying with this album, even beyond the music, with the imagery, is that the idea of America as a country, its rural spaces, its cowboy culture, its red, white, and blue, it's very flag. It's not the property of, those things are not the property of any one group, no matter how loud that group may be. Woo. Those are four incre those are four incredible points. Uh, so now that you've now that you've gotten out the four the four points, all right, which one was your favorite track? Come on. Oh, I have to be honest, for me, it's Miley and Beyonce. I have listened to Miley and Beyonce all day. Plus, I'm a California girl, and they are singing about smoking cigarettes on the 405. Are you kidding me? I could listen to it all day. It takes me back to those um, great duets of the 1970s, like Barbara Streisand and Donna Summer doing yes. Enough is Enough. That was, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know I what know I what you mean. mean. Enough is Enough is one of my, is one of my favorite songs. I should have known I was gay then. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. It just reminds me of these moments of like pure, creative, and emotional and vocal collaboration. And when these moments happen, man, they are absolutely magical and they take a lot of work to put together. Okay, so the name of that track is uh, Two Most Wanted. The, the Two Most be, Wanted. The Heavy Beyonce. on the pedal, Jonathan. Yeah, okay, so my, my favorite, I have two. Um, okay. Yaya. Yes. And Bodyguard. Okay. Okay, so Bodyguard for me is like, not like don't love, but compared to Yaya, mm -hmm. Yaya is like a mashup. Like we're at five different clubs, we're at four different venues, we're in 17 <laughs> different decades. Like we're twerking, we're jerking, we're chitlin' circuiting. Like it is, I could listen to that back to back to back. You could put that on at a party, play it 17 times in a row, and then send everybody home tired. Mm hmm. You know, the thing that I found very interesting, Danielle, um, you know, everyone's been talking about this as a country album, but as Beyonce has said, this ain't a country album. This is a, a Beyonce album. But it has been incredible, the number of people who have shot videos, the range of people who shot videos um, dancing to Texas Hold'em, um, the number of people I've seen today saying that they, like you, have been listening to Cowboy Carter on a loop all day long and how much of a gift 
it is to them, how serene it makes them feel. Um, as, we, as we close out, because I've forgotten how much time we have left in this conversation, but talk about the cultural significance of this album and Beyonce being the one who's done it. There are new geniuses in this world and in this country, and we have to claim them. We have to lift them up. Beyonce is that genius. She has surrounded herself with a crowd of geniuses from different races, different generations, different spaces in their careers. And she's just wrapped it up in a bow and said, voila, for you all. And in these times, man, when everything can seem so oh, tough, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? It's just lovely to just open a gift and hear these voices that just say welcome, that say love, that say we're all in this together. And on that point, the vice president um, posted a message saying, Beyonce, thank you for reminding us to never feel confined to other people's perspective of what our lane is. You have redefined a genre and reclaimed country music's black roots. Your music continues to inspire us all. Danielle Smith, you always inspire me. Thank you so much, as always, for coming so to the to Saturday you. show. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.